Well, this is gonna take some time to clean up. Hello everyone, my name is Steven and I am now a second year dental student studying here at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center. I am back in Memphis and I'm happy to be bringing you my first video of my new year of dental school. I'm now a D2, starting off in my D2 year and this had to be the first video because behind me, I have $8,000 worth of dental supplies and I wanna tell you all about it. So behind me is my dental kit for my D2 fall semester. And if you're pretty familiar with my channel, you may remember a video that I created right here, by the way, on my dental kit from last semester. That kit was my D1 spring dental kit and it cost around $5,000. This semester's dental kit cost us around $8,000. So I went ahead and lugged the probably 100 pounds worth of supplies all the way from school back to my apartment, laid it out on my desk here, and I wanna just kinda of talk through what this kit is, what we're spending all this money on, and how we'll kind of use this kit along with our coursework this semester. A little bit of a disclaimer, I do these videos for two reasons. One, I do them so that you can see just how expensive dental school really is, and also so that you can become a bit more familiar with both the classes that we take that have to do with the different dental specialties, and then also what types of things we use in these individual classes so that you can become a bit more knowledgeable about dentistry and dental school. So I feel like in order to begin this discussion about what is behind me, I thought it would be appropriate to lay out the different courses that we're taking this semester because that's where we'll be using all of these materials. The first of them is Operative Dentistry 3. Operative is something that we've been doing since the beginning. And honestly, I don't think there's a ton in here that adds on to Operative. A lot of what we're doing in Operative this semester is some more complicated restorations that, that will continue to use composite and other materials. So really, I think what we've gotten in here is more teeth. This right here is a giant bag filled with plastic teeth. So we get tons of these little guys. Every single tooth in the mouth, we're gonna have like multiple of them. And so we'll get these, use these. We also have a bunch of burrs to restock our burr supply. We have all different types of burrs in all different shapes and sizes. Now this box right here has a bunch of other crown and bridge and things of this nature. So we have more of these little burr blocks as we call them. And as you can see, this one right here is a crown and bridge burr block. And that has all of your different burrs in there that we're gonna use. We also have here a direct CAD cam restoration burr block and you can kind of see some of the different stuff that is in this one. This is an RPD burr block. RPD stands for removable partial denture. So this will go into one of our other courses that I'll talk about in a second. So yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff in each of these boxes, which is kind of crazy because if you look at all the boxes behind me, most of them are filled with even more items and it's just impossible to get into all of them. The next course that I wanna talk about this semester is Prosthodontics 1. So this is going to be the first time that we're actually placing crowns in the oral cavity. And there's a whole bunch of stuff behind me that's going to go into this pros uh, section. A lot of what you see back here is actually related to pros. So there's a bunch of different dental materials that we're gonna use. Things like putties, waxes, and stones will definitely be in rotation. So a lot of these bigger boxes that you can see are gonna be things like a mixed putty for impressions. A lot of these will be um, sort of gearing us towards putting crowns in the mouth. There's also a bunch of different boxes like this one that have to do with taking impressions. And if you can see this right here, um, this image is showing you essentially the uh, tips that are found on the end of this setup. They're going to dispense this impression material. We can then take them and put them into something like this, which is a tray. And we can take an impression of a small portion of the mouth. So like six teeth, for example. Um, typically that's going to be in one quadrant of the mouth and we'll have impressions to surround the area of the crown that is being placed there. So this is all sort of the intro to crown and bridge. That's pretty exciting because a lot of dentistry is crown and bridge and that's going to be a fun discipline that I'm looking forward to getting into. The third class that we're taking in lab is our first complete denture lab. So this is going to be the first time that we attempt to make dentures 
And from everything I've heard, dentures are very tough. I'm sure there will be some dentists in the comments that are gonna let me know that is in fact the case. But I am excited to see what complete denture is like, and I'm excited to kind of see how a lot of these materials play into it. Obviously, the beginning of making a denture begins with impression materials. And once again, there are a bunch of different impression materials and impression trays and things like that. We're also probably going to use boxes of wax. This is a red boxing wax, I believe will probably be used for making dentures. This is a complete guess, but it's somewhat of an educated guess. Uh, this is a temporary resin acrylic, which I believe a resin acrylic like this is used for a denture base. So um, what we place the false teeth into. I may look really stupid here, but I'm just starting D2 year, so. If that's wrong, I guess let me know, but I'll be using this at some point. Also, this big tub of Wonderfill right here is going to be used to kind of perfect our casts that we create. First, you take an impression, then you pour up a cast that's a model of the teeth. And what you'll get is some little voids or areas that haven't been um, completely filled in. You can take this, fill those in, and that way your impression is extremely accurate. Okay, the fourth and final lab course that we're taking this semester is probably the most widely discussed in your D2 year. Uh, it's something that I've talked about with fellow dental students and something that I'm very excited to get into and that is Essential Endodontics 1. Endodontics, of course, is the discipline of dentistry in which we uh, replace the pulp of teeth, so the inside tissue of teeth, uh, with an inorganic material that allows them to stay in the mouth instead of removing them via an extraction. In other words, it's doing root canals, and there's a bunch of different stuff behind me that will help us to do these root canals. For starters, there's a bunch of these endo hand files, and they look like this. They come in these little packages, and basically these are just tiny little files that we stick into the teeth to remove the necrotic or dead pulp. And there are literally tons of these. I think this bag right here is basically filled with endophiles. It's also filled with different types of burrs for our access into the tooth. It's also got rotary files, which are essentially the equivalent of hand files, but used in a kind of a slow speed hand piece or an endo rotary. So there's a bunch of endo stuff right there. These are also absorbent paper points, which are stuck into the canals to dry and clean them out. And then this right here is an endo sequence from uh, Brassler, which is all of our gutta percha points. Those are what we replace the dead pulp with. So that's what this is, a bunch of different sizes and lengths. Pretty exciting stuff. So there's a bunch of endo stuff in this kit and I can't even get into all of it because I don't know what all of it is. But trust me, there's plenty in here. But I did kind of forget to mention the last little element of this dental kit, which is some of our courses that are a little bit more focused on patient care and kind of a clinical medicine. So we're taking some courses this semester about evaluation of patients. This is a little bit more of a medicine side of things. What do we do when patients come into the clinic and how do we establish a baseline before we start administering treatment. One of those things is something I never expected to get in dental school. This is actually a Lippmann stethoscope, as you can see right here. Like I said, never really expected to get a stethoscope, but that is one thing that we have to do. There's also this, which is a Spigo mono nanometer. No, that's Spigo mono, Spigo mono man, Spigo mono nanometer. So that's what this is. I believe this has something to do with taking blood pressure or something like that. I I I may sound like a complete idiot right now, but I will learn very soon what this does. So yeah, there's a couple items in here that are related to kind of like I said, patient evaluation, taking vital signs and doing all these things. We're going to start with our classmates. We'll be taking vital signs um, on our classmates. Hopefully I'll be able to vlog those experiences and then we'll eventually get into the clinic next year and we will be doing all of these things before we even put a burr in our hands and start working on the patient's teeth. So that is not it, but that's a lot of it. There's so much stuff behind me. Oh, one more thing. Randomly, we also got a whitening system box. This is the Opalescence uh, tooth whitening system. And interestingly, this is actually what I recommend for tooth whitening. Um, it's kind of expensive and I have absolutely no idea why we have one in this dental kit, but this is what it looks like. Once again, it's opalescence and it's a tooth whitening system. This is the 15% uh, potassium nitrate and fluoride. So that's what, I don't know. I have no idea why they gave us this. I don't know if this is like a personal use or if this is something that we'll maybe use with patients. I'm not sure, 
but that's in here as well. So friends, that is it for this semester's dental kit. I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing what we spend $8,000 on. It is crazy how much um, we receive, how much we get into. Also in all of this, I didn't even mention the six cassettes worth of instruments that we were distributed this semester. I'm showing you a quick video here on the screen of what that looked like. That is all the instruments that we'll be using in these various classes and there are tons of them. So my trip from my locker to the lab is about to get a lot lot heavier and more cumbersome. But that's it for this dental kit. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you maybe learned a few things about the different disciplines of dentistry and what are some of the things that we use. I'll be getting into all of this more in detail in my vlogs for this semester. And if you're interested in seeing those, make sure that you go ahead right now and subscribe. Also, as always, let me know what you thought about this video and if you enjoyed it, I'd love to hear from you guys. And even though I'm very slow at responding to my comments, I do try to do that and I really appreciate to hear from each of you uh, because I wanna know what you're thinking. So shout out to all of you guys who are still watching and who are still with me. I will see you soon in the next video. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.